Hey everybody, it is January 1st, 2010, and I am Sonic Sons. I should also start this video with, hey, GoBeaties fans, because I'm planning on posting this on both of my YouTube channels. A new year is a time for reflection. Might also be a time to take these glasses off so I don't have that weird reflecty thingy in my eyes when you look at me. A year ago, I had one YouTube channel entitled Sonic Sons, and on that channel, I made a video called Hello to 2009. I reported having 373 YouTube videos at about 220 subscribers. Nowadays, I have two YouTube channels, one entitled Sonic Sons, the other one entitled GoBuddies81. The Sonic Sons channel has 539 videos and 324 subscribers. Meanwhile, the GoBuddies channel has 66 videos and 24 subscribers, but obviously not all those videos are made by me. So as far as YouTube is concerned, I'm prolific, but not exactly popular, and I'm not sure what to do about that. I mean... For one thing, you shouldn't seek popularity for its own sake. But maybe if I could deserve popularity? I've had previous videos where I sort of mentioned that little dilemma. I've thought of doing videos sort of snappier to the point. I dabble with that concept. Uh, I've also thought of doing a collaborative channel, which I now have, GoBuddies81. And it's really cool being able to collaborate and so forth. And, you know, either the main channel or GoBuddies or something else down the line could at some point become something big or something. I don't know. In the meantime, I am glad for all the videos I've made, and the comments I've received, and the people I've interacted with, even if, quite frankly, I sort of thought after 500 or so videos I'd probably be popular. But it's not about popularity, and there's the dilemma thing I just mentioned, so let's not think about that particularly. I just wanted to give you a status update with regards to that. There are other things that are very important to me. For instance, I am writing a book. Tales of Udo the Wanderer, a fantasy story. I've read a couple of those stories online, and I'm sure I'll post a link up here in the sidebar. Uh, it's a development blog I have every time I write something, I put it up there. I got about 26,000 words, and a good ballpark for a book is like 100,000 words, maybe a little less or more. Kind of depends on what you're going for, obviously. But these last few months, I've really picked up the pace in actually writing, because I've had that idea since high school. And I've been incredibly slow at making progress, and I'm starting to actually do stuff, and I'm very pleased about that. With regards to my webcomic entitled Wild, that's kind of defunct. Uh, the artist dude has lost interest, at least for the time being, and I can't really blame him considering how many times I forgot to contact him on the days we were supposed to talk of the script and the... Yeah, that is screwed up, but... Whatever. Stuff happens. I have a girlfriend, by the way. As of the 11th of December, <laughs> my first girlfriend ever, and, and wow, how that's all worked. You can go on the GoBuddies channel and see me rant about that for a while. But, like, just, let's call it yesterday, December 31st, we spent five hours together. And it was great. <laughs> and that's, that's cool. I should have mentioned that. The other project ongoing is that crazy amazing little thing called Bakadasne, which is supposed to be crazy and silly and sort of teaches you Japanese, like, on the sly, almost. And I've been talking uh, with a friend of mine, a couple of friends, uh, for the last few months, and it's amazing you actually be talking about it and, like, plotting out some scripts and stuff, and we may have an artist, and we may... a little bit of momentum there. Speaking of momentum, let us note that the beginning of New Year is not just time for looking backward, but time for looking forward! Aha! And on that note... I think this may be a really big year for me. Let us count the ways. Number one, I have a girlfriend, and having that mutual love and support is so great. Number two, I have friend friends. Not that I've had a complete lack of friends before, but I've had problems with isolation due to a couple of reasons and whatever. And over the last few months particularly, I've started to break that shell. Like, I'm always like eating dinner with people, for instance you know, when I'm at college and things, rather than sort of eating off by myself. And, 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 and I, I talk to people more, which is great, particularly when they help support my creative ideas, which leads to... Number three, I'm establishing creative collaboration, which is uber. I mean, like, like, like just an hour or two ago, I was talking to a friend of mine who has an idea that he wants to write a book, you know, and he's done some writing and he's got some talent there. And he was talking about my book, and I was talking about his book, and then a week ago I was talking to a couple other people writing books, another friend of mine writing a book, and, and this is entirely new. I mean, there's a friend from, you know, several months ago I read, I read a NaNoWriMo book thing, and now they've written some more of that, so I have to get around to reading, by the way. But now there's, like, 
bore people doing this now. There's like several people I know. We're gonna like form a club or something and like do writing, and not just writing, you know, but the, the other friends want to do like funny YouTube videos, and they have like ideas for that. And and then a friend of me working this Baca Desne project. I'll get onto a second there, and it it it's it 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 just feels so good. Number four, I'm actually writing my book after all this time. See this is... Boom! Tales of Yuta the Wanderer. See that? Ah, it's got a back. See, in the middle here, there's all this text, which I've been told is a terrible font and no one can read it. But still, what I've printed here is what I've written so far, which is, you know, as I said, like 26,000 words, which is about like a fourth of what it should be or something. But man, I'm writing it. I'm sort of like actually... Getting stuff done, even though it's still not as fast as I would like it to be, but I'm 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 I'm, I'm actually working on it, and I look forward to the date when I'll have you know it published, or even just to have a full manuscript, just to be able to like show that to to people to yeah, that is also good. Number five, I'm working on Bakada Day, the amazing thing to teach Japanese, which is another great project, and I'm very excited to be doing it. Number six, I'm going to Japan in a few months. I'm going to study there for a full semester and then, like, probably become fluent. And also, that'd be great for the Bakatis Nabit, you know, to know more Japanese and know the culture and stuff so I can make the thing which teaches you how to see how that all works together. It's amazing. Number seven, I'm a senior. We're approaching the end of college, which is like a great point for jumping off and doing something entirely different. And hopefully it's not some sort of boring, normal office job. Number eight, I shall soon be starting a blog about freedom and stuff, and maybe people will like that or something, I don't know, but that's yet another thing that I'm doing, not just thinking about these these projects I've listed, there's a bajillion other ideas in my head that I haven't even mentioned at all, but these are things that I'm, I'm, I'm sort of like, like actually working on. Number nine, did I mention my old stress disorder really isn't bugging me, and hasn't, uh, it's, it's very, very slight nowadays, and yeah, life is easier that way. And number 10, let's just give a shout out to all the things I haven't mentioned because I'm sure I forgot something. So as 2010 begins, yeah, yeah, I'd say I'm pretty excited. So, hey everyone, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. See you later.